Marty McFly. King of the Seeds. Fly. And we are here with Nina. Nina. Sophia. Sophia. Clara. Clara. Nicole. And Nicole. Okay. So we're here at Mundolingo in Brazil. I'm trying to get you guys to come in just a little tighter so I can get everybody in the picture. Perfect. Okay, so Nina, right? Now I assume because I'm looking at your tag, right? Let me just show everybody the tag. You speak a couple languages. I try to. <laughs> okay, so you speak Brazilian, American, is this? Spanish. Spanish and French. French. Yeah. Okay, so she's not playing around. Okay. Oh, sorry. We got the drinks coming in. Okay. Okay, these girls are getting their drinks, so we just got to hold on. Okay. So. Yeah. What brings you tonight to Mundolingo? So, we are friends. Uh -huh. So, we are friends and we were doing nothing at home at a Thursday night mm -hmm. and we decided to practice some languages. Okay. And we both like learning new languages and talking to new people. Uh -huh. So, we thought that was a good idea and there are drinks here also. We like to drink. Okay, what is this right here? This is a beer. Heineken? Okay. Heineken. All right. Um, and that's it. And it was very nice to make new friends. We became friends at oh, the so line. Oh, so you just met these two today? Yes, we just met. In the queue outside. In the queue outside. In the queue outside. Okay, so all right. it's a very nice place to learn new languages, uh, practice the languages you know, and make some friends. Okay. And have uh, a chill night out before Rock in Rio. Yes. Okay. Now, I guess you guys are Flamingo Easters. Flamingo Easters? Is that what they call it? Yeah. But not really. No. What do you? What, uh, what team do you like? I just don't. I don't root for football very much. I don't root for any teams. I guess I'm just here for the fun. Okay. All right. Just so, Flamingo. Okay, Flamingo. I'm not. I. So yeah. now we're gonna pass the mic to Sophia. Sophia. So Sophia, how are you today? I'm good. I'm oh, you fine. Can, you guys can still be in the frame. It's all right. So how are you today? I'm good. You're good? So what brings you to Mundolingo tonight? Is this your first time? Yeah, it's my first time here. Uh -huh. I'm on vacation for the Rock in Rio. Thank you. And I'm here just for make some friends, practice uh -huh. my English a little bit, uh -huh. and drink some good drinks. Well, what is this right here? It's caipirinha. Oh, what flavor? Ah, uh, I don't know. Strawberry. Strawberry, right? Oh, moringa. Ah, oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, okay. So, how many times have you been here? It's my first time here. Your very first time? Yes. Now, it's first time. First time. all of us? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. So, quick question. We'll go from my left, sorry, my right to my left. What part of Brazil are you from? Minas Gerais. Wait, say that again? Minas Gerais. Okay. I'm from Minas, but I live in Sao Paulo. From Minas, but you live in Sao Paulo? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. So you don't like a little vacation, okay. Yeah. I'm from Minas too. Minas Gerais? Yes. I'm from here, Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro, okay. So y'all pretty much local girls. But this is your first time for most of y'all, the first time ever? Not okay. real, but it would, yes. Oh, okay. So how did you hear about the one over here? Um, I've heard it before from friends that, that already came, but I've seen it like on Instagram and stuff, so I wanted to maybe give it a go. Okay. All right. I have a friend that is a backpacker. She goes around the world, uh -huh. and she told me she, she lives in Rio, but she, back, she backpacks all around. And she told me that the event was going to be here tonight, so we decided to come. Okay, and you? And do you know, with Yeah, uh, I have a lot of friends that uh, went here and uh, like it so much. So I invited her to come here. Okay. Now, let me ask you another question. You speak Portuguese and obviously American, you too. Yeah, two languages. And obviously, wow. Wow, she speaks four. Wow. And you speak four. Same ones. Now do you do you um travel? Have you ever been to the United States? Yes. Everybody. Okay, so 
three out of the four here have been to the United States. Let me ask you a question, and I guess we can start with you. Yeah, you can give it to her. What are the differences? Let's bring you over. What are? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. What are the differences between Brazil and United States, in your opinion? Everything. Huh? Everything. Why? So, um, I guess maybe probably on a night out like this, we wouldn't be as chatty with strangers. Probably okay. it's not such a, it's not as a warm of a country. I guess we are more open to other cultures and strangers in general. Right, right. We are better dancers. Yes. And what, what about some things like the food? How is the food different? I like it here much better. I'm not, ah. I don't like the vibe of like, um, I don't know, fast food and uh, concrete and you can only go to places by car if you want to like, I've been only to like Florida, so that's my, my take on it. And like, I don't like not being able to walk everybody, uh, everywhere, uh, so. Have you ever been to Disneyland? Yeah, in Florida? As a kid, yeah. Why, okay, let me ask you a question. Most Brazilians that I talk to that have been to the States, they always go to Florida. And they all... It's California, I lived in California, so... Okay, all right. Yes. But have you been to Florida? Yes. So... <laughs> well, I went to Disney in Florida, but I went to Disney in California also. What is it about Disney that everybody from Brazil wants to go and check out? What is it? I I'm trying to understand. It's because, like, everybody watches Disney movies when they're kids, mm. so it's an imagination land where, like, uh. you can become a kid again. Oh, so that's like a, a dream come true for some oh. people. And they also made like an industry out of it because it became a thing. Mm. So there's a lot of like agencies and planned trips that you can go usually when you turn 15 mm. um, to go to Disney World. So I guess yeah. it, be it has already became like a culture thing to do. Okay, it's all right. It means to do it, of course. Now, now we're gonna ask you. Since you've been to the States, what are like three big differences between Brazil and the U.S., in your opinion? I agree with her. Like, I think we are more open to other cultures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're very great at dances, all kinds of dances. Uh -huh. we, we, we really like music and all kinds of music. We have a lot of, like, culture. Not that you guys don't have culture, but like, um, <laughs> we have a lot of traditional music and dances, which is amazing. Right. Um, and I don't know, I think everything is kind of different. It's a very huge country. Brazil is very different. Like when you go to the south of Brazil and the north, it's like different places. Like the culture is different, the kind of food is different. So... In the US, not so much? I don't think as much as in Brazil. Right. So you've been to Florida and LA, New York? Yes, been to New York. Really? No difference? That big difference between LA, no, Florida? There is a difference, but I think Brazil has like... A bigger difference. Yeah, more okay. typical food in the north okay. and in the east and the south. Like Even like the languages and the culture in general, I think change much more drastically than if you go like from opposite sides to the US, I guess. Yeah, like if you go to California and New York, you don't have a difference, a lot of difference in the language. In okay. Brazil, it changes a lot. Like people from the south speak so different from people from the north and the east so of Brazil. The, so for the people that don't know, the people from the south, what is the difference in language how they speak in Brazil to the people in the north? Because most people don't know. I don't. I guess all things. I think it's a. Uh, about their accent and uh, they uh, they talk like a singer in a singer way like a cantado or like they're singing yeah in a arrastado I don't know the melody is different yeah. the melody is different and they also like they had differences from 
the immigration so they have much more of like Italy and Germany than for example the north so also like the structure of the language is influenced by people that immigrated here so it changes a lot we have a lot of like Africa culture right. and more to the north of Brazil and in the south we have like uh, Italian immigration German immigration right. so it changes a lot yeah okay so now we're gonna ask you and Sophia yes see I'm good I'm getting good with the names okay so Sophia you've been to the US also right yes. so in your opinion what are the three big differences between Brazil and the states I think the first the first thing is the people mm -hmm. uh, I love Brazilian people I love make friends in Brazil I love talk with Brazilians mm -hmm. and they understand like my my everything I gotta say my I don't know my words everything the mix. yes the, the memes in Brazil is, is perfect I think and think this is the more the most different for me I live it there for seven months for make exchange in California too and I'm crying a lot because I miss my friends like I miss my family mm. I love it there I love being there I love learning from everyone there but here in Brazil we like we have this this thing like this like they don't have that yes we're happy we, we I don't know I love the people is the most different it's about the good culture for sure but the people is amazing now what else what other two things would you say wow. Like, what about the price of everything? Yes, it's, there is more how cheap. There is more cheaper from here. Yeah. Like we, we can buy a cell phone. Yes. Makeup. This thing's more cheaper there. So much cheaper in the U.S. Yes. than it is here. Yeah. Here is cheaper. Yes. Wait, say, say, cheaper. say that again. Okay. Food here to like eat in a restaurant is much cheaper than in the US yeah. so it depends what you're buying and do you like the quality of the food here better than yes. the States? Okay. Yeah. What now what can you tell the difference in the food? How does it taste here and how does it taste over there? It has more sauce, like it tastes seasoning. Seasoning, yeah. The food here is here more. in yeah. Brazil. Yeah. And the food here is like more healthy. This have some some more options. Yeah. I don't know. Here's the difference. It's better. Industrial. Yeah. Oh, sorry? Less menos industrial, less industrial. Less industrial. Now, do, do you uh, think the McDonald's in America tastes different from yes. the McDonald's here? Yes. How? Um, there don't have a cheddar McMouse. What's that again? There don't have a cheddar McMouse. I love cheddar McMouse. Oh, they don't there? have that in the U.S.? No, U.S. Okay. don't have. So I love it. <laughs> and I miss so much when I go there. <laughs> okay. So there's, there's definitely some good differences, obviously, Brazil to the U.S. Yes. Um, so, platter. 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 Okay, so platter. Now we're coming to you. I know you haven't been to the U.S., but if you were to go to the U.S., where would you go? Um, I think Disney. <laughs> where? Disney. Disneyland. Disneyland. Florida. Of course. Of course. Brazilians love Brazilians love Disneyland, and Brazilian loves Outchebacki. Yes. <laughs> See? Now, poor K, could somebody tell me why Outback is so popular here? Um, we like the type of the, the treatment in, in Outback. I think they are caref careful, careful with the, the clients. Yes. And uh, we like the food so much. Um, um, and it, I think it's, a, it's about that. And uh, so their customer service is very good. Yeah. What very about good. their drinks? The, the drinks? Yeah. Um, normal. Yeah. Normal. Yeah. I, I like because uh, a few. I, I forgot. Refill. Refill. Um, oh, free refills. Yeah. Okay. I love that. But uh, here in Rio de Janeiro, yeah. we are very popular with the ice uh, tea. Ice yeah. tea. Yeah, yeah. So I love the ice tea from Outback. 
Okay, all right. Um, everything, that, yeah. everything from the U.S. that comes here has very good propaganda. So she already told you that. So that's a thing also. Because like, if you see everywhere, like the TV and outdoors, you're gonna gonna go try it. You know. Right. right. And they have very good ribs. Okay. Now let me see what else. Because I I don't want to disturb you guys tonight. I know you came here to talk. Um, do you got any questions for me? Because I'm from Iosuja, New York, but uh, Iomoro, Rio de Janeiro, aqui, agora, permanente. For how long? Permanente. So, mi amigo, he's a um, turista. Turista? Turista, yeah. Turista, okay. So, it's his last night here. So, I said, let's go to Mundolingo so we, I can show him how it is. But me, you guys are stuck with me. <laughs> so um, now I think uh, we asked you. Uh, yeah. How? Uh, what's the big difference in uh, New York and here? Oh, number one difference. Let me back up. Number one difference: weather. Number one. Every even in the winter time. It feels like um, spring here. Whereas New York, you have summer, winter, fall, spring. So you have four seasons. And you know, it changes like every four months. Number two, like everybody said here, everybody is more friendly. Like to, uh, you can go up to somebody, hey, how you doing? Where you from? New York, not so much. You don't want to do that in New York. Trust me. Uh, New York City, the food is good because it's got so many Indian, Italian, Jamaican. So you have more variety. American. Huh? No American. It's not like American food is like apple pie. It's not. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you got Italian, you got, but American, it's good, but it, it, New York has everything. Yeah. Japanese, sushi, I don't know, who likes sushi? You? You don't like sushi? No, no, no. Wow, you're like, you, you're the first three girls that said they didn't like sushi. She loves it. But you ever had Caribbean food from like Jamaica or anything like that? Caribbean food? Yeah. I live in Sao Paulo. I live in Sao Paulo and Sao Paulo has a lot of like different restaurants like yeah. you have She lives in the Japanese neighborhood Yes, I live in the Japanese neighborhood uh, and you can get like all kinds of Asian food yeah. around there Okay uh, Let me tell you what else um, The n other difference is, oh here's another thing The big big difference is customer service Like in America if you need something done you just pick up the phone, call, tell them the problem. Most of it's fixed. I noticed in Brazil, it's like, oh, you know, we'll get back to you. Or we're gonna come Wednesday, they don't come till Monday. So if you it's different. It moves faster in New York. But um everything else, I love Brazil. Like everybody's friendly, the food is good, the music is because you have everything. You have Bali Funky. You have samba. If you like jazz, they have that here. They kind of got everything, you know? Um, so, okay, I, like I said, I don't want to hold you girls up because we could talk all night, but I know y'all want to talk to each other. Um, I'll give you my uh, my YouTube. So when the video drops, you guys can check it out. Um, any last things you want to tell people in America about Brazil? Here's much better. Uh, Come to Brazil is much better. Wait, wait, tell them again. Come to Brazil is much better than there. Okay. What about you? You want to say anything last? Same as it goes. Like, it's summer all year long, depending on where you are. So I, I guess if it's sunny, it's always better. For me, at least.
Okay, what about you? Yeah, it's the same. Just come to Brazil and leave it here. <laughs> and feel the experience. It's amazing. Okay, and what about yeah, you? I would say that uh, um, come to Brazil, but not just to Rio de Janeiro, because we have a lot of uh, another states that is oh, so good. So, okay, where would you recommend? That's good. I should. Um, Bahia. <laughs> Bahia? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go. Minas Gerais, because they the best food. Yeah. Minas Gerais, okay. And uh, Santa Catarina, Florianópolis. Florianópolis. Yeah. Oh, so that's three places I definitely gotta go. Maranhenses, os lençóis maranhenses. What's that again? Os lençóis maranhenses. Place in Brazil and it's, it's a national park of dunes. Oh, it's a national park. Yeah. There are a lot of dunes. Like oh, it's amazing. is that where everything looks white, like the sand? Yeah. And it has like um. Like dunes. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I've been meaning to go, but I think the first place I'm gonna go is Bahia, and you said Minas Gerais. Um, so. I mean, I've only Pantanal been here. Pantanal também. Huh? Pantanal. Where? <laughs> Pantanal. Okay. So if you go to Amazon in the north, oh. you can see a lot of things. Oh, he was just at he was at um, Manaus, and uh, where was another place he went? Manaus and where else? Iguaçu. He was at Iguaçu. Iguaçu. Yeah. So. Yeah, I definitely gotta do more traveling, but I'm still learning Rio de Janeiro. I feel like I haven't... You got time. Yeah, I got plenty of time. I live here now, so, you know. All right, so let me let you girls go. Thank you so much Thank you. Thank for, you. for talking with me. This is Marty McFly, and everybody, what's your name again? Nicole. Nicole? Nina. Nina? Yeah. Sophia? Clara. Clara. Okay, thank you so much yes. for having me. I love you guys. Bye. And that's it. We're a wrap. All right.